Mindset. Time to get it out to Milwaukee, Ryan Rucco, JJ Reddick, Roz Goldonwude, and the director of Ambiance. Take it away. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Malika. It is a chilly night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The fans filing in for the Knicks and the Bucks. The in-season tournament begins, and we begin with NBA courtside. The very first evening of in-season tournament group play begins tonight. Three groups of five teams per conference. Group winners and the next best record from each conference will advance. These games count towards the regular season as well. Seven games tonight, including this one tonight, which is a part of East Group B. As we welcome you courtside, hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside JJ Redick, Richard Jefferson, so happy to be with you for the very first night of the in-season tournament. All right, guys, we felt the buzz around it. We turn first to the director of ambiance for the in-season tournament, Richard Jefferson. Richard, what are you most looking forward to when it comes to this competition? I'm excited. I'm excited to introduce this to America. This happens in major sports leagues all around the world. This is not something that is new uh, in, in soccer. But here in America, we get the first chance in basketball to really experience this, to drum up some excitement in the first third of the season and give players something to fight for early on. And speaking of ambiance, this is an event full of ambiance. New courts, new jerseys, another event to add to the NBA calendar. The play-in has been a huge success. I have no doubt the in-season tournament will be as well. All right, fun game here tonight between the Bucks and the Knicks. Obviously, the Bucks made a big addition in the offseason with Damian Lillard. JJ, early impressions of the Lillard-Giannis combination. At times through four games, it's looked great. At other times, it's looked disjointed. I have no doubt that these two will figure it out. Their skill sets complement each other perfectly. We're talking about two of the best players in our game. But for the Bucs, the bigger issue has been their defense. This was a top five defense last year, just 29th in the league in defensive efficiency. They're not guarding the three-point line, and they're not guarding in transition. Meanwhile, for the Knicks, they are coming off their best season in 10 years. But, RJ, right now, Julius Randle, a very slow start out of the gates. Look, he's been all NBA the last two out of the last three years, but his numbers have dropped severely at the start of the season. Now, it's a small sample size, but last year, 46%. This year, 27. Last year from three, he shot 34. This year, he's shooting 25. Last year from the free throw line, 75. This year, 64. I don't doubt that Julius Randle will figure this out, but ultimately, it has been a slow start, and they need him to get right. Randle, Brunson, Barrett, that's the trio for the Knicks for more on RJ Barrett here is Roz Gold on Wooden. Yes, Ryan, R.J. Barrett is out. It's the second straight game that he's missed with left knee soreness, and the team is handling it day to day. I had the chance to speak with Josh Hart, who has been stepping in as a starter with R.J. out, and he told me they'll miss the confidence, efficiency, and playmaking that R.J. has brought this season. It'll also change Josh's role, who told me he has to be more aggressive offensively, and now he'll defend more threes and wings rather than fours and forwards, which he said is something he's more comfortable with positionally. Guys? Well, we will see Josh Hart tonight in that starting lineup. The Knicks, the Bucks, the start of the in-season tournament. Malika and the crew will have more on the other side here on courtside. All together now, get ready. Y'all know what time it is. 30 teams on the board for the cup, but there can only be one number one. And the race to that chip is on. The NBA in-season tournament, y'all. Here they come. Here they come. You boys get ready, because here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Don't fall in the comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my pants. Put suckers to fear. Making the tears rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass go boom, explosion. Overpowering. Over the competition, I'm towering, wrecking shot. When I drop this force, that'll make you call a cop. Don't you dare stare. You better move. Don't ever compare me to the rest that'll all get sliced and diced. Competition's paying the price. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out. Yeah, that's right. 
It's the NBA in-season tournament. All 30 teams in the league compete for early season bragging rights at the championship in Las Vegas. Here they come. We welcome you to NBA Friday, presented by State Farm. Opening night of the in-season tournament in Milwaukee. It's the Bucks against the Knicks. Moments ago, Bucks first-year head coach Adrian Griffin addressing his team. We just continue to execute at a high level. Officially, it's a big rebound game, one-on-one, -on -one, right? You got to win your matchup. That's what it comes down. Mono on mono, block out, be physical. Set the tone early, right? Set the tone early. Tonight's starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell, as Roz told us. Once again, no R.J. Barrett for the Knicks, so Josh Hart slides into the starting lineup for the Bucks. Lillard, Adetokounmpo, Lopez, Middleton, and Malik Beasley is the starting two this season for Milwaukee on a veteran's minimum contract. Trying to prove himself with the Bucks. James Williams, Tyler Ford, Derek Richardson are officials, and the in-season tournament is underway at Fiserv Forum.